Hey there, this is another Titan video. Today I've got a brand new full on Fortis throttle body spacer. It's supposed to improve torque, fuel efficiency, throttle response. Um, I do have my doubts, but we'll give it a try anyways. So I'll show you how to how to install and later on I'll do a review video. So it's pretty simple. In the box, you get the throttle body spacer, and it's got these riflings, almost like a gun barrel, which is supposed to twist the air to get it in better. Um, comes with a, a gasket for the spacer. New bolts, these are 10 millimeter bolts, so pretty simple. Only a couple tools. Um, I've got some pliers and I use that to remove the hoses and I've already gone ahead and done that. Pulled them off of the air tube. Um, I've got a socket wrench, just a little guy, and 8mm and 10mm sockets and 5mm Allen. So starting off I use the 8mm socket and loosen the Clamps on the air tube, they're already fairly loose, but just loosen them off. And then go ahead and pull the air tube off and pull it right off. These I had already taken off, so we can move that out of the way. And take your hex wrench, and you're going to want to make sure it's in all the way. These were fairly tight. Give it a good break. They snap like you can hear it snap when they came loose. So I've already loosened them off, and then you are going to take those all out and set them aside. One. Apologize for the wind noise. It's been very windy here the last three weeks or so. Today is the first warm day. And I'm going to run this with just the stock intake for now. Um, I will be buying a Spectre Performance intake shortly. I'll do install and review on that as well. So if you want to see that, please subscribe. And I'm on the last one here. And you don't really need to disconnect the wiring or the coolant hoses from this. You can just pull it out. Um, that was a good time to clean your throttle body as well. There was gunk on this side. This side was very clean. The outside was very clean. Sorry, my arm's in the way. The outside was very clean. Um, the inside was pretty dirty. So I sprayed some throttle body cleaner on a rag and just wiped that out. And I wiped this out too. And if you can see in here, there is a screen there. Um, a lot of people, when putting their spacers in, will cut that out. Um, I'm not going to do that because I want to be able to turn this back to stock if I have to. I'm going to leave it in. Um, yeah, so there's a reason that Nissan engineers put that in there, so I'm going to leave that there. Um, but I think as far as the spacer goes, there's a reason why they didn't make the intake that much wider as well so do I really think it's gonna do anything probably not but whatever we'll make a video try it out um, yeah so basically you push the gasket in that comes with it push it in and then the gasket goes to the throttle body and it says right on here throttle body side so we need these guys too. Get the new, four new bolts out. So this throttle body spacer, I bought it on Amazon. Um, it was only 75 bucks. Similar throttle body spacers go for like $200. So this was one of the cheapest ones. It's a, it's a composite, so it's. It's not aluminum, a lot of them are aluminum. Shiny aluminum. This looks good, but 
doesn't really change the performance at all for a hundred hundred and twenty five dollars more just gonna line it up oh, yeah, one other thing I forgot to mention is uh, the engine cover I already took mine off so the engine cover is just two 10 millimeter bolts on the bracket and then I'm gonna leave my engine cover off so I also removed the bracket which is two more 10 millimeter bolts here the engine cover doesn't really do anything it's cosmetic um, it might help keep the sound down but most people who are modifying their trucks like the extra sound I mean they pay hundreds of dollars for aftermarket exhaust so like, if you want your engine louder you can just take the engine cover off that's going to help now, these bolts are not threading very well yeah, so just do them by hand to start them they don't seem to want to go in well, this spacer is supposed to fit all VK56 so all uh, 5.6 liter V8 motors. Now, these are all, these seem pretty tight, so I don't know what's going on here. I don't want to strip it, because if I strip it, then it's, the intake is kind of screwed. Where's my knob? There, it's going down. I do feel a little tight, but they're going in now. So if I use the 8 for the air tube and then the 10, we'll do this. And this is the worst ratchet ever. I don't recommend stainless ratchets. down in a cross pattern so with the intake cover back on the engine cover back on you won't even see this on here Some things I have done to this Titan already. I've got a Bully Dog tuner. I've got some videos on that. The JBA catback exhaust. Um, I have had an AFE intake. Um, I, oh. I've had an AFE intake, and um, it sounded good. I didn't really like the performance. It gave me a check engine light. So I'm going to try the Spectre intake. Next, and my socket wrench is down there on the um, skip plate. So, at the end of the video, I'll fish it out and tighten these up properly. So, some other things I want to do I want to get the Cajun V pipes, I want to try the Catalyst ones, and then um, after that, I'll probably do the uprev tune. And hopefully I won't have to get headers soon. Uh, I want to keep keep the stock ones as long as possible. So yeah, you just tighten those four bolts across pattern, um, then you can you can take it back on here. this a bit more yeah. so you get the picture 
shove it back on, tighten it back up, and it's done. So I'll do a video later of the review. So here it is right there. Let's see it on the side. There you go. And not much to it. Thanks for watching.